Very, very excited to share all the features that Baselane has built over the last one and a half years to make it simpler, easier, less stressful to run a rental business and to help you take your rental business to the next level. So whether you're a one unit landlord or a 10 unit landlord, or you have many more units, Baselane is a great platform to use to streamline your rental business and help you focus on what really matters, which is growth. Now in this short video, I'm gonna be highlighting Baselane banking, rank collection, bookkeeping, our reporting and analytics, our marketplace, and much more that can help you save time and money and really help you level up your landlord game. The best part about all the features that we're gonna be sharing today is that it's all free. So let's get started. So let me start by adding a property. In this case, I've already gone ahead and set up a property. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how it's done. Here's a duplex that we've added with two units. As you can see, you can add any type of property that you like, single family, duplex, triplex, townhome, condo, etc. You can also add a other property, which could be mobile home or a room rental. In addition to that, you're able to add as many units as you like. So there's no limit on the number of units that you, you can add for each property. And lastly, I want to show you a really cool feature, which is you can add your property financial details here, such as the purchase price, the mortgage details, and the market value. We've plugged in the Zillow API so you can track the live market value of the property and be able to see how it's appreciating over time. Setting up rent collection on Baselane is super easy and simple, both for landlords and tenants. It only takes a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and set up rent collection for this Austin, Texas property. So let's jump in. As you can see, you've already pre-filled a bunch of details, but I'm gonna start with step number one, which is identifying the property address. Add the lease details. In this case, we're gonna add the lease start date as well as the lease end date. In this case, it's a one year lease. You have the option to do a month to month lease as well. Next, I've gone ahead and added the monthly rent of 1300. Rent is due on the first and I'm collecting the rent on January 1st, 2023. Now, most landlords charge a late fee, but if you don't, you do have the option to toggle it on or off. In this case, we're gonna add a late fee, collect it on the sixth day and charge $50. In this case, we're collecting rent for the first time, so we're gonna go ahead and add a security deposit as well as the date that we wanna collect the security deposit. Now, if you are not collecting a security deposit, you can just toggle this off, but if you are, you can toggle it back on. If you've already gone and collected security deposit and you want to just indicate the date when it was done, you can mark it as paid. Next, you can add recurring monthly fees and you have many options and flexibility here. And this is one of my favorite features of Baselane. In this case, I've already added a pet fee for $100, but you can add any other type of fee that you like and the amount and the date that you want to collect it. So here, for example, I'll add a parking fee. And all you have to do is click on save. If you made a mistake and you want to edit that, you can also go ahead and delete that. Now, if you have any other additional fees or rents that you want to collect, you can do that here. For example, if you like to collect the last month's rent, you can quickly toggle that on, add the date that it's due and indicate that. If you've already collected it through cash or check, you can mark it paid by clicking this check mark. If you're collecting any prorated rent, now this happens often when landlords have tenants moving in the middle of the month, you can toggle that on, add the amount that you want to uh, collect that is prorated. In this case, for example, let's say it's only about a week or so and it's coming out to about $400. And the date that, that it's due, and once you indicate the date, you can go ahead and save it and you'll, it'll show up in the invoices. In this case, we're not going to have one, so I'm taking that off. And any one-time fees, for example, if you have a move-in fee, a key fee, which is quite common, you can add that in here and select the date that the, the fee is going to be collected and save it. Okay. I'm actually not going to do that. So I'm going to turn that off and go ahead and turn this off and make sure that everything is filled out correctly. And then I'm going to move over to the next section. Now here we made it super easy for you to review all the invoices that are generated and you can continue to load more to make sure you see all of them before you proceed to the next step. In this section, we're going to connect the receiving bank account. Here you have two options. You can open Baselane's landlord tailored high value banking account, or you can connect your existing bank account. So let me show you how that's done. Click on add new account. If you're going to be opening up a new Basin banking account, you can click on this option, indicate whether you're a sole proprietor or a business and follow the application to get approved. 
most likely it's going to take a few minutes for you to complete this process. If you're connecting an external account, click on this option. Here you have the ability to instantly connect that account through Plaid or to manually connect that account by adding the account number and routing number. Once you've completed that step, we can go ahead to the tenant information. This is very simple. Here we're adding the tenant name, email, and any other contact information. Let's say you haven't added a tenant yet and you're gonna be doing that for the first time. You enter the information here as well as their mobile number, which helps us with sending tenants notifications. In this case, I've already added a tenant, so I'm gonna just go ahead and select that and review the, review the details. Now, this is a really important step. Take your time to review all the information here, the property address, all the lease terms, any additional fees that you added and make sure that they're showing up correctly, any security deposits that you've added, anything else, as well as the tenant details. It's very important to make sure and confirm that the tenant's name and their contact information, such as their email and their phone number, is accurate before you confirm and invite the tenant. In this case, we're not going to proceed to inviting the tenant, but if you do confirm and invite the tenant, you're going to see a success screen, which lets you know that an invitation has been sent to the tenant. Now, what happens there is the tenant gets notified right away to create a basin account and set up their payment method. Tenant payments are 100% free if they're paying with their bank or with ACH. If tenants are paying via debit or credit card, that we charge a 2.99% transaction fee like most merchants do when there's a card present. And lastly, tenants can use Baselane on their desktop or mobile device. And like I said earlier, it takes the tenants really a couple of minutes to create their account, add their payment method, and set up auto payment. Now that we've wrapped up the rent collection, let's head over to the banking cards and show you what we've got. Now the Baseline Bank account is one of the most exciting products and one of the most loved products that thousands of landlords are really enjoying. So what is it? Baseline Banking is an FDIC insured business checking account tailor-made for landlords and real estate investors. We offer many features that are here to help you get more organized, to spend responsibly, to take command of your numbers by tracking that spend through more automated bookkeeping while getting rewarded to do so. So what are some of those rewards? Now, for me, the best part is our high APY on all deposits. As of today, December 2022, we offer 3.3% APY on all deposits. We offer 1% to 5% cash back on debit card spend, unlimited virtual accounts, free incoming and outgoing wire transfers. I typically have to pay $20, $30 per wire, free third-party ACH payments, as well as mobile check deposit. Now, that's hundreds of dollars of value delivered all for free. So let's jump in and show you around. In this example, I've already set up and funded a basin banking account, but let me quickly show you how to add funds. It's super easy. Click on add funds. You have four options of how to add funds, but we recommend two, initiate a bank transfer or a mobile check deposit. You can click on this option, connect the bank that you're going to be funding the amount from, complete this information and save it. Once you've funded the bank account, you can go ahead and set it up. In this case, we've set up many virtual accounts. We're gonna highlight three that are really important. One is an operational account, a security deposit account, and a maintenance reserve account. In the operational account, I'm collecting my rent as well as paying the mortgage and the utility bills. I've gone ahead and separated the security deposit I collected into a different account, so it's in a non-operational account. And finally, I've been building up a maintenance reserve for a rainy day, so that is something that you can transfer money into on a monthly basis. Now, the beauty of these virtual accounts is that each of these are its own individual account and they have their own unique account number and routing number. What that means is you can transact directly with that account to move money in and out of Baselane. Now, another really cool feature that we launched recently that I'm very, very excited about is the ability to send funds. So click on send funds and you can do an internal transfer but for me, the ability to send an ACH transfer to a third party is huge. And this is where you can select the account that you're going to be sending money from. Let's say it's the operational account. Then select where that money is going. Here's an example of me where I've added a, a handyman that's in Philly and I need to pay them. Then simply just enter the amount and confirm the details. So this is huge. This is usually not a free feature on most banking platforms. And finally, the best part about all the banking features is that it integrates into the bookkeeping. So all of the activity that's going on here is coming into our transaction ledger. So what I'm gonna show is how this transaction ledger 
interacts with all of our analytics and reporting next. So let's go. For me, this is where things get even more exciting. I meet countless landlords every day that don't know their numbers, that want to track their property data, but haven't been able to find a solution that helps them make it easier and faster and more automated. Well, let me show you how to use base lanes, rental property bookkeeping, and reporting to make your life easier. In this case, I'm sharing the transaction ledger where I've already connected a bank account and credit card. You can easily do so by connecting an external account through the banking and card section. And I'm gonna highlight our features one by one. So one of the really cool things as a transactions import, you can easily with one click select the category. In this case, our revenue and operating expenses directly map to Schedule E. So it's very simple and easy and helps you get really prepared for tax time. Once you've selected the category, you can determine the property and the unit and add any notes, for example, November rent, if you'd like to. In addition to that, you can easily search for transactions. So in this case, I've searched for Skylight. Once you've done that, you can also bulk edit many transactions if they have a similar characteristic. So in this case, I'm gonna select all of these. For example, I can hit edit, and this allows you to bulk edit by selecting by typing in the merchant, if you'd like to update that, by selecting a new category. In this case, it's rents, but let's say it wasn't rents, so you can change it. And by selecting a property. Now with this bulk edit, you're only able to do it one property or one unit at a time, but really it does help if you're updating 10, 12, 15 transactions and they're all repeating. In addition to that, you can also split transactions. So let's say there's an expense or a security deposit that you recorded, but it's actually for two units. I can select the transaction, click on this arrow on the right, hit split, and then add a category for this. So let's say, you know, part of it was commissions and part of it was security deposits. Then I can determine the property and then split the amount. So in this case, it was a negative 1950. So I'm going to add negative 1900 and let's say 19 and negative $50. So once everything is zeroed out here, I can save and close and that'll split the transaction. In addition to that, splitting and the ability to map to Schedule E, you can also add manual transactions. So let's clear out of all of this and show you how to do that. Click on Add Transaction. Here, we're going to be manually adding it, so there's no account associated. You can add the date going backwards, not forward. Add a description. So in this case, we'll just say that it's, a, it's the merchant name that you want to type in. Then add the amount. Make sure to enter negative if it's a spend amount. Add a category. Let's say we're going to say repair. Select the property and any notes. Once you've done that, make sure you hit save and that will show up. Super, super easy. You also have the ability to hide transactions or delete transactions by selecting these options. Once you've done that and you've updated all the categories, you can go ahead into the analytics section. Now for me, this is actually one of my favorite parts about Baseline and where I spend a lot of my time with my rental portfolio. So let me show you how it works. Here we've got the net cash flow month over month, which is the cash inflows and outflows and the net number. So you have the ability to click on any one of these revenue or expense items and audit the numbers over here on the right. And this is really useful as you're looking at your spend on a month-to-month -month basis or a larger window, let's say 12 months, you're able to do that. In addition to all this, you can also select the entire portfolio or just look at one property or one unit and just focus in on that. So here's an example. And for me, like this is really useful because I might say, well, this is really odd. What happened in this January 2022? Why did I spend all this money? Then you can click on the operating expenses and see that, oh, you paid a tax bill for $5,000. That's what led to such a, such a high expense. In addition to that, we've actually gone ahead and built a bunch of other reports for you in this financial statement view where you can, again, select the filter for the date and time. Then you can choose net operating income, net operating cash flow, total inflows and outflows, or Schedule E categories. So let's go ahead and select the Schedule E since tax time is coming up. Here you can see all of the activity related to Schedule E for this Los Angeles apartment that we have here. 
Now, once we see that, we can also easily download that statement by clicking this button, export that into CSV and share that with our CPA or whoever's preparing our taxes. So again, we give you a lot of flexibility and options and filters to be able to really analyze the numbers and see where the money is coming in and where the money is going. So you know how you're performing not only at the portfolio level, but at the unit level. I'm excited to share with you about our marketplace. If you're looking for rental property insurance or loans or just want to save more money, check out both products. It takes a few clicks to get a quote and we offer super competitive pricing. Finally, if you're looking for educational content and how to become a pro landlord, go to our resources page and check out our blog. I'm confident if you start using Baselane and all the features that we offer, you'll save countless hours, hundreds of dollars in fees, and not to mention stress, and really supercharge your rental business. So feel free to contact us by clicking on the right-hand side chatbot over here with any questions, and thank you for watching this demo.